costume design. My husband will hear of this. There is no husband. Not Barbara Kidd, Jonathan Strange, and Mr. Narl. <laughs> Vengeance on you both! But all the world shall ever do such things! What they are yet! I know not! But they shall be the terrors of the earth! Fatini Dimu, the dresser. You think I'll weep? No. I'll not weep. I have full cause of weeping. But this heart shall break into a hundred thousand floors, or ever I weep. Marianne Eatoft, Poldark. Joanna Eatwell, Wolf Hall. Fatini Dimu for the dresser. Goodness, I didn't expect this at all. In fact, I dressed up not to get this at all. <laughs> Thank you to Richard Eyre, who gave me the opportunity. Thank you to the two giants of actors, Ian McKellen and Anthony Hopkins, my amazing team, my supervisor, Ann Taylor, um, Playground Productions, um, Colin Callender, Susan Harrison, Sonia Friedman, and my beloved Billy, um, Richard McCabe, who stood by me for years now, through all this. Thank you. I mean, what an incredible category. It is, a, well, my category, it's the most unglamorous category of the whole. <laughs> Which category. people will find hard to believe, right? Well, it is the most unglamorous. And it is incredibly hands on. It's um, you dealing with weather conditions, locations, endless hours, um, people, you know, it's the one thing that is the most, actually, it's the most nurturing yeah. profession to be in. And unless you are a carer of people, I don't think you can do it. Yeah, and also, I mean, as you, as you mentioned, it's not as glamorous as people imagine no, it to be your first in, your last out. It's, no. it's full on. Yeah, it is, it is. It's long hours. We're the first ones on set, yeah. the last ones to go. We are the team that works every weekend during the shoot mm -hmm. and during the prep. The dresser, it was quite a special one. Very, yes. You know, what? how do you even start to work on the design of a show like that? Well, it's a world I know. Theatre is a world I know. Yeah. I've worked with the Royal Shakespeare Company for a long time, so Shakespeare, which mm -hmm. is what they do on stage, is 
you know, it's part of my, my life. I, yeah. I know it. I've also done a lot of tours, and this is, of course, a tour that happens in the 40s, yeah. but, you know, you understand the backstage, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know those really, really damp little yeah. <laughs> dressing Hobbles. rooms yes, yeah. <laughs> where people exist. So I knew the world. Yeah. And what, oh. is it quite difficult to get your head around you know, creating a character and dressing a character and then dressing the character's character. And, you know, it's quite multi-layered. It is multi-layered. And this is this is why the, the, the actual project was so interesting yeah. to me. And I really, really applied my... my and I, I had fun with it. Yeah. This is, this is what I was hoping that people can see in this, mm -hmm. that I had fun. Yeah. You know, it was the actors as actors and then the actors in costume yeah so i think i was probably the right person for the job mm -hmm. because i know both it was the know. perfect yeah, yeah. perfect storm you got to work with two sirs sir yeah. oh <laughs> anthony hopkins well, sir Eden McCann. Exactly. do they get quite involved in the process or do they leave you to absolutely us? they do first of all i was in touch with them before we even before i even started the prep because okay. i you know you have to listen to actors mm. They have, inst especially the, these two are yeah. incredibly instinctual. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit like dress up. I listened to them, I took my notes, I invited them to the dressing room and there was like a wardrobe of what they said really. Yeah. And we did it together. How wonderful. You know, they were so part of that, yeah. you know, process. It wasn't, I wasn't alone. They were amazing, both of them. And Where are you gonna pop this? Um, well, we have a lot of these at home, but this is my first one. Okay. My other half, Richard McCabe, has got an Olivia and a Tony. Ah. And I thought, he's the only person with statuettes, and now yes. I have one now too. You've got, and this one's particularly special, I think. It Heavy is very and shiny yes. and gorgeous. <laughs> it's actually the biggest one. <laughs> God. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And the BAFTA goes to humans.